The following video is aimed at existing users of Enfocus Pit Stop Server and at anyone interested in implementing a server-based preflight solution. It will show how you take automated preflighting to the next level by using Enfocus Pit Stop to Switch, the bundled solution of Enfocus Switch and Enfocus Pit Stop Server. Pit Stop Server is the leading server-based preflight solution and requires little introduction. Switch is a modular automation solution with powerful routing and communication tools, and we will now show you a few examples of what extra value Pit Stop to Switch has to offer. Pit Stop Server uses hot folders. When you receive files via email or FTP, it is up to you to drop the files in the correct hot folder. In combination with Switch, you can very easily define a flow that checks FTP sites and email boxes automatically every so many minutes and that injects the files and attachments into the flow where the files are being preflighted. Many companies work with naming conventions from which you can infer in what hot folder a certain file should be dropped. Or perhaps you have specific queues for files with a specific size. In a pit stop server environment, it is up to the user to drop the file in the correct hot folder. In Switch, you can easily define just one hot folder in which all the files are dropped, and Switch will route the files to the correct pit stop server setup based on the naming convention, PDF box size, colorants used, and so on. In pit stop server, you have one set of action lists and one preflight profile per queue. It is sometimes desirable to do something extra when an error is detected. In Switch, it is easy to do that as you can see in this flow. There are separate outputs for files that were preflighted without errors and files for which errors were detected and you can simply chain another pit stop server setup in case of an error. It is sometimes necessary to process the pages of a multi-page PDF file separately. If you wanted to lower the ink coverage only on the pages where the ink coverage is too high, you would not be able to do that with pit stop server. In this switch flow, that is exactly what happens. The PDF file is split into individual pages. Each page is checked for ink coverage being above a certain value, and when that is the case, an action list is executed that lowers the ink coverage. After processing, all pages are recombined into one multi-page file. Whether you are an existing user of Pit Stop Server or a new user of the Pit Stop to Switch bundle, you will certainly understand that the combination of the two products drastically increases the flexibility and automation level of your preflight environment at a very attractive price. An additional advantage is that the Switch Core Engine is easily extended later on with additional modules. Adding the Configurator module makes it possible to convert legacy files to PDF files, add an imposition step after the preflight, and so on. Adding the Metadata module lets you pick up XML data supplied by your MIS or Web2Print system so it can be used to route the file in the right way. The information in the XML file can also be used in Smart Preflight in Pit Stop Server which can check files making use of variables. Adding the database module allows you to do similar things as the metadata module, but instead of your MIS system pushing the information, Switch can fetch it. When Switch Core Engine is installed on the same system as Pit Stop Server or the other way around, Switch will automatically detect the presence of Pit Stop Server and allow it to be used in building flows. This means that the entry point for existing Pit Stop Server users to Switch has been lowered considerably. You just install Switch Core Engine on the same computer and you can increase the power of your Pit Stop server substantially. For new users, the Pit Stop to Switch bundle makes it more attractive to go for the higher level of preflight automation straight away.